you might want to listen to this because it could happen to you. Now let's just start with some facts because it's going to help develop the backdrop for what has happened in a particular case that I'm working on. So what we have is a target home in the inner city, which was being executed by a search warrant by a drug task force. Then we have an uncovered firearm with multiple DNAs located in a car that is outside of the target searched residence. Now, for our particular client, he was standing in the vicinity of this area when the search warrant was being executed. Now, what the police do instead of just staying within the scope of the warrant is they grab everybody that is standing outside on the block. It gets even worse. So instead of performing what's called a Terry pad, to check everybody and make sure that they weren't holding any weapons or dangerous contraband, then subsequently running their names to make sure there were no open active warrants. With our particular client, these officers took it upon themselves to go directly in his pockets. That is a search. Now, when they go in his pockets, they find a minuscule amount of marijuana, which was for personal use. So therefore, that is a civil violation. That is not a criminal act. Then they find a car key. They subsequently take this car key and search up and down the block until they come across the vehicle where the windows were down and where this firearm was resting. They immediately arrest the young man, charge him. He goes to trial. He gets found guilty. He's sentenced to a significant period of incarceration. Now, on post-conviction, what the state attempted to argue was that the inevitable discovery doctrine rule. Now, what the inevitable discovery doctrine means is exactly exactly what it sounds like, that even had the police not violated the client's constitutional right to be free from illegal search and seizure, they would have inevitably found evidence of contraband and therefore are justified in arresting and convicting him. It's all BS. Anytime you have an illegal search and seizure, the state almost always is going to argue two different things. One, that the contraband would have been inevitably discovered, which is a really clean way of saying, well, they broke the law, but they would have found it anyway, so you should let it go. Or they're going to argue that there was reasonable, articulable suspicion to justify the search, which most of the times we know from watching these videos is BS as well. So this gentleman was just standing outside and ended up serving a, a, a conviction a sentence and this is something that could happen to you if you're at the wrong place in the wrong time and if the justice system continues to do like they've been doing and fails you something to think about behind every great case there's unparalleled legal support that's us contact us today